And we're back. We have to go to the mountain now. I didn't, still didn't talk to Lundgrim, or Lundum, whatever his name is, and actually get the quest. Still haven't done that. But that's fine. We're not supposed to do that. We're just supposed to get monsters, man. As a matter of fact, if this was just about monsters walking around with the caravan just recruiting each other, that'd be fine too. Uh, so I'm gonna get the ring. I wonder if you can even get it with the monsters. This is a pretty good experiment, I think. I'm not gonna use musk right now, obviously. I'm, I'm gonna actually try to get as far into the volcano as I can. Yeah, you can... The, the Cure Slime is pointless to recruit with the King Cure Slime, you know, I just... The King Cure Slime's max level is 20, and the Cure Slime's max level is 50. And the, and the Heal Slime's max level is 100. And... Ugh, oh, the heat! I can't go any further! Oh, that's... wait, wait, wait. You bitch! Is he gonna stop me? Okay, Hot Bogs I don't think you can recruit. Nope. He's not gonna let me go. Without the quest, he will not let me go, you piece of shit. Fuck. That's some bullshit. Okay, um, uh, Gamigan. I think you can recruit these guys. Yeah, uh, No, you can't. Ghost, Gigantus, Golem, Goodie Bag, Great Dragon, and the Bird. Uh, that's the only G's. I think the reskins of those you can recruit, though. Um... That's fine. Oh, there's the goodie bag. Oh, he's gonna run, isn't he? Goodie bag's are notorious for running. Alright, well, I'm gonna do tactics on you and just show no mercy. So we have a goodie bag. And a gam again. You can recruit goodie bags, but... I guess I'll just hang out around here and try and get one. Um because it's the only monster I seem to be able to recruit here. Um, and there are metal slimes here. Outstanding. How come there are metal slimes everywhere I'm trying to grind? Inside caves, I mean. Every cave so far has had metal slimes as, a, as an encounter. Uh, which is, is, is nice. I guess they're just trying to compensate for the fact that they're so hard to recruit. Like, you know, we'll give you chances over and over again to recruit these because we know you're never going to get them. And for the most part, they're right. You will never get the Metal Slime. <clears throat> <clears throat> can't recruit him. Can't recruit him. Can recruit the goodie bag. So we're going to try and get the goodie bag. And in the process, we'll kill some slimes. And maybe we will get some EXP out of this. Which I'm perfectly fine with. Um, Mikhail has a long way to go before he's a viable option to replace the King Cure Slime. King Cure Slime has uh, two things going for it that Healer doesn't have. His max level is lower, so he's faster to level up. Even even despite the XP differences to get his max level, he's still easier to level up than 99. Um, I have proof of that with Fandango and uh, 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 Hooligan. Those people who take so long to get their last few levels are still faster than 99. And he has Insulate. Well, technically, he has two spells. Ooh! Yes! Yes! He has a very low, high max level, so he's easy to level up. I'll just put him in the, in, 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 the, in the shit. Now we just have to wait for the must to wear off. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna stand here until the must wears off. Don't metal slimes take the first take the first opportunity ahead of us? Because I know you're not gonna stay long. Right, well, I killed one of you. I did not do any editing here. That's my natural recruit rate for my goodie bag. And I feel really special about that. I remember last time it took me a long time to recruit the goodie bag. I, I was just probably unlucky. Or here I'm just really lucky. Again, we're still under musk, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait it out before I go back to town. Because it looks like this is it for all the monster recruits we're gonna get in this area. There might be a monster recruit deeper in this dungeon, but we'll find out when we get there. I can't stand the fact that you can't 
get here without Lundgren's quest. So we're going to have to revive Hero and get it. Um, Poppy's level 18 now. 4 HP, 5 MP, and kind of shitty for stat gains. Okay, is Resilience Vitality? Seriously, is Resilience Vitality? Because if it is, then the Seed of Resilience that I was farming all in that one area I could use. Resilience, I thought, was like magic resistance, because it makes sense, the Resilience. But that's, isn't that what Wisdom is for, or is Wisdom simply for max MP, and Resilience is for max H, uh, M, uh, is for, okay, is Wisdom for MP gains, and is Resilience for magic resist? I think, I think Resilience is for magic resist. Uh, Clayton goes to level 25, 9 hit points. And the reason I think that is because Chromio doesn't have high high HP, but he's got really good resiliency. He's max resilience, and his HP sucks. He didn't start with max resilience, so resilience doesn't translate into hit points. It's definitely magic resistance and wisdom. All wisdom is in this game, I guess, is the ability for monsters to listen to your commands. I don't even think wisdom is about MP. I think resilience might be both. So anyway, we're still under the effects of Musk, like I said, so we're just gonna... We're, I, don't, I just don't want to walk the overworld with Musk. Oh, Monster Munchies. Now we know what their drop is. Although I think the Big Book of Monsters will tell you what their drops are. So Gammon's, Gammon's drops are Monster Munchies. I guess it's good to know if you were trying to farm them, but you can buy them in Zoomaville, Returnia, whatever you want to call it. I can't stand when remakes change names. Pisses me off. Anklehorn Musifer. He even has a third name. In uh, in Dragon Warrior Four I iOS remake, he has a, he has a third name. Why are you renaming that monster? Is it so crucial? Is it so crucial for you guys to rename it? I mean, like, will people not understand who that monster is if you don't keep renaming them? No, they. Of course they will. Stop renaming monsters. All it does is confuse the fuck out of people. Anyway, this has only been seven minutes, but we have to get revived. Um, we uh, Because there's no other monster to recruit. I can't possibly go upstream uh, without the quest first to get the veil, and that's going to happen after you get the ring. Um, and you can't get the ring without the quest for the ring, which is bullshit absolute bullshit like I, I tried I really tried to jump to jump sequence and the game won't let me do it the game does let you jump sequence in recruiting Barongo but I guess that's because that's so optional they don't care but the ring is not optional in the game you have to do it so they won't let you jump sequence clever game not really lazy I call it cop out anyway Let's just get the fucking... They're going to revive him for free. I'm not under the effect of Musk, so... Um, can I, ex I... I explored the north already, didn't I? Yeah, you can't go up here. There's nothing up Um, You gotta take his ship. I guess you guys are going to get some of the plot. Because there's nothing else I can do right now. Here, let's just fast forward that. Alright, there you go. Free revive. Yay. Alright, it looks like we're gonna have to do this. So, let's just do it. Um, I guess it's okay to take a break from recruiting once in a while. Now the game is lagging. No. Uh, yeah, it's just like you don't even know the chick, and you're like, uh, yeah, I'll marry her. <laughs> Crispin Burns. Um, this is the guilt-free choice. If you, you know, I actually prefer like Nera would be my ideal wife. Um, the bitch of a second daughter that they added in this version of the game only. Um, she's actually the ideal character to recruit for this game because her gear draw is better, and she's more and she has a lot she has a lot more strength and durability. She's like Alina almost, but she has magic, a lot of magic. And a lot of good magic, and she can equip the Hellhammer. She's a really good metal hunter because Hellhammer misses, but crits a lot. So 
it, 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 it's a it's a it's, it's for game mechanics Deborah is the one you actually should recruit uh, for us as a wife but the guilt-free choice is Bianca and I think story-wise you marry Bianca yeah see there's Deborah what the hell is she doing <laughs> be quiet what is this no more men pestering me no one's pestering you at all then don't get married these gentlemen aren't for you. I invited them on Nedra's behalf. Stop making a nuisance and go back to your room. Huh. Well, good luck with that. Yeah. I have a havoc with my complexion. You see, she's such a bitch. And she does not get better. Ever. Ever. Ugh. If they had added her in, it would have been really good if she had had some character development. The only thing that comes close is when you turn her from stone back to living. And she's like, I, I just, maybe, like, like, I I have to be around so I can boss you around. Like, see? It's like, fuck it. I would have left her as goddamn stone, okay? You know? Yes. Oh, he's not Mr. Lundgren. He's Mr. Briscolet. God, why do I keep calling him Lundgren? Maybe because that was his name at one once upon a time. Anyway. Uh... Yeah, you gotta get ring. Alright. So... Wait! I can't have any of these guys doing it on my behalf! Yeah, you guys are gonna get some story, okay? Just because. <laughs> I've always done as I'm told, but let me choose my own husband. Oh wait, I know you. You're the one who stopped bingo. I mean, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Do you know this man? Hmm. He looks like a reliable young fellow. Me and my fat ass jowls. Ooh, I am not a crook. But only the ones who bring me the ring. Now come with me, my bambina. I don't even know what you're gonna do up there. He's not a pedophile, but I'm still a pervert, okay? Uh, anyway. That's a tall order, huh? Now you can shop at the weapon shop here. Does he have to be alive though? Can I actually kill the hero? Uh, God, the lag in this area is, is really bad. I wonder if it... Okay, well, we're gonna check this. It's a chimera wing! How do you squish a chimera ring in a book? Unless they're tiny. Um, I guess they're small. I played Rocket Slime. I know how big they are in relation to a slime. I know how big a slime is in relation to me, and they're not small. You're not gonna tuck that shit away, okay? It's like a trap trying to tuck his shit under there and putting panties on and like pretending to be a woman. You know? it's like, yeah, it's hard to do. Not that I've tried or anything. Never mind. Now everyone's gonna be talking. Ugh. All right, let's go shop for the monsters. Alright, there we go. Mmm, I have steel fangs. Pottery swords. Uh, Poppet can have it, because I didn't give him, like, anything special, so why don't I buy one for him? Yes. Uh, yeah, see, he was he was getting the, uh, serpent sword, but I'll give him the cottery sword. As a matter of fact, I'd like to buy a couple cautery swords for the bag, if you don't mind. It's not as good as my Metal King sword, that's for sure. I almost thought it was 220 from 205. I'm like, no. <laughs> okay, Morning Stars. I got three of them. Still broadswords. I got two more, and I got three chain whips. I'm good. I'm good. All right. Well, that's that. I guess we're gonna have to go back to the mountain. I'm gonna kill the hero off and I'll meet you there. Okay, we're back in this area and he's dead now, apparently, see? Because that skeleton wasn't there before. <laughs> now the best man win. Well, you know what? That's fine. We're actually, I'm, I'm gonna explore the depths of this place specifically to see if there are any more recruitable monsters. Not specifically because I want to continue on with the storyline so much, which I do, uh, to get the monsters. But um, uh, I, on, I know you can recruit the reskins of these guys.
which are technically a fairly decent monster to have. A lot of dead bodies. And, yep. Well, oh, oh, Rock Bomb is in here. I didn't know that. Okay, so if you didn't get him outside, you might get him inside. Good to know. There's the stairs. I don't want the stairs. I want the loop. Well, whatever. We don't have musk equipped or used, so encounter should be lighter as I try to get that chest over there. Oh, goodie bag. I'm so happy you decided to join me after what three encounters? I don't know how many. How many was that, guys? I mean, you could count on the on the LP right away because I didn't encounter any before I started recording, and now I'm encountering them all over the place, which is fantastic. They're good on gold too if you need gold, which I don't at all. Okay. And more rocks. <laughs> more locks. Did I just say locks? Yeah, I was gonna say more logs and more rocks at the same time. Okay. I wonder if there's anything over here. Well, anyway, um, we're just trying to go deeper in to see if we can recruit anybody. And this is a dead end, of course. So, we have to walk our happy asses all the way around again. That's okay. We're, we're steamrolling the competition here, even without the hero's help. Because my monsters, man... I would call them overleveled, but Gertrude's stats need some improvements, even at level 54. Yeah. To make a slime shine, you gotta get them up. There's gotta be a rhyming word for that. Slime shine, and then a third word, that means you have to power them up. To make a slime shine, you've gotta grind. Ha, huh, okay, there you go. Ha ha ha, I did it. I did it. To make a slime shine, you gotta grind. These guys are, what, 175 gold apiece? Well, under 200, maybe 200 apiece, yeah. So if you want some money, here you go. And, okay. Aha, chests. I like greed. Greed's fun. Oh, you can recruit the flamethrowers, I'm pretty sure. And the bomb. Flamethrower, yes, you can recruit flamethrower. We have to stay on here to recruit them. So it's not a total loss. A TNT ticket. Yay. Out. Out. I don't want to be here. Out. That's why that's why fast forward is not as good, because you you get your ass kicked sometimes. Right then, uh Oh we have to go in there to get that chest though. Oh come on, don't attack suddenly. You guys could attack twice per round if you wanted to. I don't like that. Makes me feel bad inside. Okay, yeah, in order to get that chest, we have to suffer. Where are the flamethrowers when you need them? I've encountered one, but it wasn't a recruit chance. Therefore, it doesn't count. Crunch, 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 crunch. Yeah, we're taking damage. I'll heal, don't worry. Crunch, 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 crunch. Uh, and we get the Staff of Anti-Magic, which is fine, I guess. Where are the flamethrowers? I'll just use some herbs on everybody. We, we didn't get that much damage, all things considered. There. And I still have a lot of herbs in the bag. And I think we got maybe 40 damage. Well, actually, no, less than that. About 35 or something. So that's an herb. That's herb-worthy. That's about it. So we're good. Okay, I haven't encountered flamethrowers since the first encounter. So that makes me wonder... I get a thorn whip from... them. Nice. Uh, okay. There's flamethrower. Let's recruit. Here we go. Nope. His odds are 1 in 64, I think. So were the Cure Slimes, by the way, but we got that one really quick. And I already bought Iron Helmets and Iron Masks, so that's a useless treasure to me. But it wouldn't be if you were being smart about your money and you weren't grinding for monsters. Okay. okay these guys don't seem to attack twice per round. Maybe they have the option, but it's rare? Maybe, maybe not. I think maybe the Flamethrowers would be more common deeper down. 
Maybe. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Well, these mud guys... I think that they... I thought that the mud guys would bake down here because... Um, like, it would dry them out. You know? A seed of resilience. But apparently it doesn't, and they can stay mud. And there's no flamethrowers. I guess you only can encounter them one level up. I don't know. Well, um... I'm looking for greed. Greed we shall find. Yeah, you guys should be dried out. You shouldn't have any mud down here. Because it's all lava. Crunch, 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 crunch. And all that for money! Crunch, 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 crunch. And we will use herbs again. Yep. Doesn't do that much damage, surprisingly. Ow. Why am I going over there? There's nothing over there, but some goodie bags. Yeah. Goodie bags are fine. We get 240 out of that, so there's your answer right there. 240 divided by 3 is 80. They give you 80 bucks? That doesn't seem right. Or was that a lot more money than I, I thought and I didn't read it right? Hello, flamethrower person. Hello. Please recruit so I don't have to grind for you forever in a day. Because once I get you, I have to come back out of here. And then save. Because there's a boss coming up. And a good challenge, I guess, would be to have the flamethrower for this boss, because this boss is fire-based. We already went there. Okay, we have to go that way. This is what I want. I should probably just hang out here. Although I think there's a spring down here that's a full recovery. It's not a safe one, though. Alright, we're good. And... yeah, more... oh, oh, no, 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 don't... don't do that. Tactics. No, no, no. Tactics. You. Follow orders. Attack the bomb, please. There you go. I don't want. I don't want to recruit chance on the fucking bomb. That would be Clayton. Twenty-six. Eight. One. Average stats. Uh, nope. The boss is there. Um. Right. I think this is the recovery spring down here. Yes! It's not a safe point, though. And I don't think you can get encountered down here. We have to grind for the flamethrower, so we have a little bit of, uh, grindage to do. Let's see, right about here. I don't want to fight the boss yet, so we'll use a couple... We'll, we'll lose a musk or two down here and then call it an episode as, uh, we're trying to get flamethrowers. And since we can only recruit flamethrower here, this works. Tactics, you... just show no mercy. Save myself a couple button taps. Who went up? My kill. Oh, good. Healer. Three hit points, nine MP. And average that. He learned Omni Heal. Level 36. Yeah. So he's got Omni Heal now. Yay. I can handle that. He won't get Revive. And he won't get Insulate. That's reserved for King Cure Slime. Poppy's level 19, and Cure Slime will get Revive. Uh, but Michael does have Holy Protection, if that interests you. Uh, Mike up 3, MP5. Okay. Come on, flamethrowers. I know I encountered you. There you go. We're gonna just grind away for flamies. They're as hard to recruit as the Rogue Knight or Killer Armor, so it could be a while. Oh. Seed of Wisdom. Yay. Here we go. Here's a decent battle. And 520 EXP for it's not bad either. This battle has nothing I want. It offers me nothing but some annoyance. But this is a good grinding spot, so... Well, you know, money too. Okay, they have 200 gold apiece. I guess I just didn't read it right. Alright. And we'll be getting... Ah, Seed of Wisdom. Wait a minute, didn't the other guy drop a Seed of Wisdom too? Uh, yeah, I think he did. Okay, so we have two enemies who can drop Seed of Wisdoms down here. 
Office level 17, 6 HP, 3 MP, and uh, crappy stats. He's not getting any wisdom, but I don't expect him to get any wisdom. That's just, um... There are some monsters in the game that you recruit whose wisdom score never gets higher than 5. So, that's what these Seeds of Wisdom would be used for. If you want to control them. I can't remember which monster top my head, but um, the fact mentions that like this one's wisdom was five, and I was like, "Wow, that's, that means you can't really control them." Now Bianca's ribbon gives a monster wisdom. Um, however, I think only slimes and Morongo can equip it. It's just limited. Not all the monsters you recruit can equip Bianca's ribbon. All right. We're doing good. We're encountering flames every few encounters. Okay, Gamagines also dropped that Seeds of Wisdom, didn't they? Come on, Flamies. We're only here for you. Makes me sound like I'm, like, infatuated with them. I only have eyes for you. I'm not recruiting them. Maybe these guys can actually summon Flamies because they're in here. So maybe I could try to exploit them. Just tamers. Uh... Tactics, everybody. Mm, followers. I will kill one of them. I will kill you. I will kill you, and you can defend. Let's see if we can exploit these four flamies. Okay, party. Change all. Let's just do you. And you can defend and see what happens. Okay, I don't think he's going to actually summon Flamies. Because it never was in his um, list to begin with. And so, I don't think it's going to just magically show up here. Yeah, I already have Cure Slime, so I'm not worried. He's just summoning him like a beast now, look at him. Well, anyway, yeah, I don't think he's going to summon Torches. Flamethrowers. So, whatever. So we're going to have to go to the party and change everybody out again. There we go. Uh, tactics, everybody. Just show no mercy. Except you, who is going to not use magic because there's no reason for you to throw fire spells down here. And that's the only attack power you have is fire. All right. After this musk wears off, which should be pretty soon, I'm just going to leave. Come back. Did I recruit anybody this episode? No. I didn't. Yeah, I did. I recruited a goodie bag. Monster munchies. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They have monster munchies, not the seed of wisdom. Huh. How soon we forget these things? Okay, Flamer, there you are. Of course you're not going to join my party. Why would you join my party? Caravan's full, anyway. I guess you feel there's nothing here for you, which there really isn't, by the way. I'll level you up, and that's about it. I don't really care about you, because all the fire spells you have... This prestidigitator has. Okay, he's he's done. Magic, you, evac, and I can use a wing of wyvern. So I got 16 of them. Hero's gonna be auto revive when I go there. For the story elements, I don't care. Yeah. Okay, there we go. At least it's free, I guess. Goddess works for free. Damn right she does. I make her work for free. Okay, well, we got goodie bag this episode, so that's not too horrible. Um, and we got some, some, some plot, which I didn't really care about, but not for the purposes of this playthrough. Um, like, for recording purposes. Care about it in the long run. But anyway, not bad, right? We got goodie bag? Uh, we have to check to see what the, what the odds are on goodie bag. <sighs> Besides, I want to save twice here, because we're at the point where we can do a challenge here, and this is a boss. So I'm going to save in slot two. Because I'm not going to worry about that trying to do challenges with the other um, uh, imposter chick in, in, in Cobert Castle. She's just not worth it. It's too easy to... far too easy for that. Okay, uh, we're, we're going to look at some... We're going to look at... Ah! Uh, the difficulty of goodie bag, right? Yeah, really quick. Goodie. Uh, goodie bag. 1 in 16, so he's actually easy to recruit. 
Nice. All right, guys. See you next time.